fucking video. Am I on? You're on? Can I take a test? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, there you are. Can you hear yourself? I can, can, can't hear myself. You can't hear yourself? No. How about now? Hello, no. But I can hear you. I guess. As long as you can hear me, I guess. Huh. Hold on. <laughs> can you hear yourself? No, that, that's even worse now. Oh, hold on. I actually took you off. How about now? Hello, hello, hello. No. I mean, I guess. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Through the headphones? Yeah, that's okay. why I'm hearing you. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Me, 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 me. Are you ready? We just back from vacation? I guess. <laughs> Technically a vacation. Yeah, kind of. In, in kind of vacation. Kind of, a little bit. You know, I pushed it the, as mm-hmm. far as I could. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. Last week was kind of entertaining. Was it? I think so. <laughs> Were you entertained by that? I, I mean, I've I've never done it before. Yeah, and especially for for a podcast. The only thing that they, they, they kind of kill me after the fact. Yeah, was I was like, oh, we're not using this video, right? So I was just kind of just there, <laughs> like out of it, uh-huh. and like, and and hanging like, on the back cave. Yeah, and I was like, oh, wait, he's uploading the video. Oh, mm-hmm. that's not good. Yeah, the thing is, like with the I think with the podcast, we're, we have uh-huh. to find out. I haven't uploaded it completely, but oh. it, it seems that when I test uploaded it. You get video and audio. No, oh, nice. So people that do the, yeah. the audio are going to get the audio regardless. Mm-hmm. And the people who want to do video can mm-hmm. see it via yeah, video. There you go. And not just that, I probably put it on YouTube too. Oh, okay. So people are going to watch it and yeah, hang out in yeah. the back cave. It's weird. That was fun. Yeah, it was weird. It's like it, it, it opens up like I was telling yeah. you. Know, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibilities, you know? Yeah. We're going to have uh, Agent Mulder and Scully. No, there you go. Hanging out. Jillian Anderson. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. Yeah. Why? Zoom on over. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Friends. One day. Why not? I don't know. Tomorrow. No. Call her up. I don't have her number. Why not? That's a long time, you know, like, X was 30 years ago, you know, 30 years changed her ago. number since then. How, wait a minute, aren't you like 30 years old? No, I'm 40 years old. Oh. Wait, so you were like 10 years old when the X was? Uh, yeah. I don't think your parents were taking care of you properly. <laughs> no. I don't think you should have been watching X was. I, you know, I didn't get into X was until yeah. like the second season. Okay. And then, um, a lot of friends, a lot of friends liked it. Yeah, and then and it was like, what is this? You know, what is it? I don't understand. And I just I spent a summer. Um, Fox ran like marathons just after like, marathon, and I I sat there and I watched every episode of the X-Files up to that point, and mm-hmm. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> it's different, it's yeah. aliens and stuff. Well, I mean, to go a little bit before that, I remember Fire in the Sky, yeah. Fox presents yeah. Fire in the mm-hmm. Sky, mm-hmm. It's presentation. You know, okay. I don't remember the title of it, huh. but when I had AMC Plus, I watched it. It was the first found footage movie, uh-huh. and it was like the '80s, and it was about this family having it was like Thanksgiving or something, and there's fucking aliens outside. Yeah, and they're going and it, around, yeah, and they go at one point yeah. and they see the spaceship. Yeah, 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 it was a hoax. That was the first found footage movie, yeah, like ever made. Well, yeah. whatever, allegedly, yeah. Because you think about it, like, technically, Texas. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is kind of a found footage movie. Like, it looks like it. It looks like it, but yeah. there's not someone guiding yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You're along for the ride, yeah. but it looks like it. That's about mm-hmm. it. Blair Witch, okay, yeah. there's a leader. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. guiding the camera. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it that's what it takes to be a found footage, you know? You yeah. got you got to be the yeah. guy involved. Mm-hmm. You know? Get that shaky cam yeah. going. And then you got to do that whole, like, oh, no. And then you, ah. you, you point to the floor. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See your feet, and, and you then, hear a bunch of weird shit happening. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, yeah. And then, like, the picture of your close up of your nostrils, yeah. you know, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry for everything you did. The time I told you to go fuck off. I'm sorry, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should make a fun footage movie. We should. Should. I think yeah. we could. We think so. We could ghost in the store. I mean, how would it, what would it be, though? The ghost. In the store? Yeah. But how would it, I mean, how would it go? Like we could do the, the what do you call it? like the, the security camera footage. Okay. And then they like, you know, go do that light thing, you know, that weird light thing that was happening. Oh, here. the Xbox thing with the, no, the, the, the little like, dots? No, like, you know, like the, the cameras pick up that weird light, right? Oh, right, right. We right. do that. But we have someone stand there and then we like do the effect where they get dragged oh, <laughs> like, off, the, off the camera yeah. into the darkness. Yeah, and yeah, goes, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Dong. Yeah. You hear that big guy. Yeah, Dong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a paranormal activity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one got you prepared to be scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. Yeah, better activity like like going forward. Like once you knew, once it went to the, the nighttime sequence, you're like, yeah. oh shit, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Well, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. want to sit there and just watch nothing for yeah. hours. Yeah, but yeah. the thing though, like like the first paranormal activity, uh-huh. towards the end, 
And the shit started happening during the day. You're like, oh, you know, it's it's on now. <laughs> yeah. And daytime fucking demons are yeah. the worst. Mm-hmm. The worst. Because mm-hmm. you can see what's going on. Yeah. Fuck them. I mean, not to be rude to our demon. No, no, no. Never, never. It's fine. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, it's fine. You know? Yeah. Spooky season. They get all mm-hmm. powerful and shit. They think really? they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, it's our time to fucking shine. Yeah. That's why they ain't no cat, man. Because you get a cat, then like, you know. <sighs> but it'll drive it away. Or it'll and join forces with it. What is it? The Drew Barrymore cat, uh, cat's eye, you know? Oh, yeah. With the little dwarves or whatever. <laughs> Kill the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it'll get the mouse, too. Well, that, bonus. <laughs> bonus. You know, mouse in the house. Do we know it's a mouse? What if it's a little gremlin or? So get it. It's so do it. Yeah, little Dude. gremlin with a little sword and yeah. yeah. He'll grab it and he'll eat it. Yeah. And, we'll, and we'll take the cat to the bed and be like, Dude, what's this little sword doing in its yeah. neck? And <laughs> oh, is it poking it through? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, a little shield inside mm-hmm. too, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Gnome bones. Yeah. So once upon a time, as I walked down the street, I realized Expendables 4 was coming out on Friday. Yeah. Then we kind of came out of nowhere too, because I knew that it was like in production, or like I knew it was like, they were talking about it, but yeah. that movie came out of nowhere. That means it was filming during COVID. Probably. You know, yeah. that's all I'm going to say about that. Don't get me wrong. I love those movies. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a great, great. Really, I was kind of done with after three. I couldn't do three. I didn't like three. Because of the, the nuke scheme. Yeah. It was like Ronda Rousey and like. Yeah, because they, they try to pass the torch on, on, yeah. on, a, on a franchise that just started. Mm-hmm. How are you going to do that? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's unofficial sequels to, like, all those movies in the 80s and shit, you know? Yeah, I guess. But, you know. I mean, you're not going to get Hot Rod and fucking involved in that. And I mean, like, yeah. Did she make it out alive at the end? Yeah. I remember a bunch of them. They all did? Did anyone die? I was trying to remember. Like, died. almost died, but then, yeah. like, they saved him at the end. And, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No. You know, they're not really that expendable no, if yeah. they don't fucking die. Someone mm-hmm. needs to die in these things. Yeah. You know? I mean... Cause Jet Li left, right? He was like, he wasn't even. He left in the second one. Yeah, but he came back for that cameo yeah. in the third one or something. No, also, then Antonio Banderas joined them, right? Like, yeah, he, he was. You know. He was a Spaniard guy. Yeah. No, he's the knife guy. He was what it was he? No, he was like a parkour, the parkour, parkour guy. guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They all have their thing. They yeah. all have their little quirk. They all have superpower, yeah. or whatever we call it. And it's just it was mostly like Stallone and Statham, right? The rest of them kind of like. They rotate out and like you know, because they're the buddies. They're yeah. like you know the center core of attention, if you will. Yeah, the yeah. season's old too. People don't realize how old he is. <laughs> oh sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> how the fuck is he? Yeah. Why, why are you watching this movie? I don't know, man. <laughs> What's the story of the first one? The first one, it was uh, <laughs> fucking was it Eric Roberts, <laughs> right? He was the bad guy. I'm gonna tell you. And he was like trying to take over some country. And it was like the the guy from Dexter, the uh-huh. fucking the, the the Cuban guy. He oh was, wait, he was in. Oh yeah, he was yeah, like yeah, a dictator yeah. or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. yeah, his daughter was hiring them to save him or some shit. Is that the one? Yeah. All right, cool. And there was a plane, and, and, and then, then she Stone Cold them. was like the the bodyguard, yeah. Eric Roberts or something. Yeah. Or yeah, was it Stone Cold or the I other think, or, or UFC wrestler guy? No, I think it was him. No, because uh, he fought Stone Cold or something. Yeah, Randy Tacourt was was part of the team. Okay, the first yeah. one. Yeah, and the second one was Mel Gibson was the bad guy. I think it was Mel Gibson. I guess I watched his movies, but I couldn't tell you which yeah. in what order which bad yeah. guy is which bad guy. Yeah. Van Damme was in the third one. Van Damme was the third one. Like he was villain, villain, villain. <laughs> I wonder what kind of villain yeah. he is. I wonder what, what kind of character he is. Villain, eh? villain. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and that was the one where they're trying to get like, oh, everyone's you know like the, the young people. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And that splits. And yeah, because one of the, the Hemsworth brothers comes out right and he, in the third one. He gets killed like early on. Or, yeah. Right, yeah, and yeah. they want revenge. Yeah, yeah. And Megan Fox is in this one. The the this yeah, fourth one, the yeah, fourth yeah, iteration yeah. of yeah. our uh, expendable mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we really care about Megan Fox still? Is she an action hero? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess we should be asking that question first. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, even you know, Terry Crews was in the other one. He's not really an action hero. I mean, uh, but he's got the muscles. Yeah. You know, yeah he's yeah. got the, the, the ripness yeah. to him. So, you know, he, that's always like the, that he was on uh, Everyone Hates Chris. Yeah. The, we always covered him up. Yeah. Then never showed his muscles. No, no, no. Hilarious. Yeah. 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 Tendles 4. <laughs> yep. Can't wait for Expendables 5 already. Remember they were going to make uh, the, the all-women team? The all-women Expendables? Expendables. Remember that? 
And that was gonna be a thing? No, nah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was gonna be a thing. No, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't. It probably was. Who, who, who would you put in that team? Uh, dude, who could? Like fucking Uma Thurman, fucking okay. uh, Sigourney Weaver. Uh huh. Um, well, so well, what's her face? Oh, from eight, all these days, fucking uh, yeah. Sarah Connor. She's yeah, still alive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could have yeah. been the leader. She could have been like you know the the point person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she. What was? I already see her in recently. Resident Aliens. She's in Resident yeah, Alien. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarah Connor's in that. Yeah, you could put her on there. Mm-hmm. You could put uh, who else? There gotta be more people. More more females yeah, uh, more, from yeah, the. Yeah, yeah. What you was know, her name? Remember the, 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 that uh, stunt woman that Tarantino was all Michelle Yeoh. Get Michelle Yeoh. Oh, Yo, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what are we doing? What are we talking yeah, yeah. about? You know? Yeah. But there, was, there was that one stunt woman that Tarantino was all into. Like, he had to put her in shit. Like uh, Zoe Bell? Zoe Is that her name? Ball or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Get her, her in there. Sure. She's kind of a badass, right? Sure. Um, well, Lucy yeah. Lawless? Would you give Zeno a spot? Yeah, right, why cool. not? <laughs> she knocked some heads, right? Nah. Um, I always thought Zena would make a good big barda. Yeah. Back in the day. She's not really that tall though. But she's not tall, I know. Yeah, that's that's, that's what yeah, kind of the yeah, losing yeah. kind of just yeah. No, uh, who else could you put out there? You could put like uh females. Margot yeah. Robbie? It's more newer. Yeah. But, but I guess. Yeah, yeah, she's Harley Quinn. Yeah. The action shit. But let's go with, like in eighties, you know. Oh, what's her face? Uh fucking uh, no, that was um Charlie Steron? She was was it the uh, Atomic Blonde? <laughs> okay. She's kind of a badass in that movie. Yeah, but it's again, it's more newer. Yeah, there's a, because there wasn't a lot back in the 80s. I don't know. I remember there was a lot of like VHSs with like female oh, leads and stuff like, fucking like sister, Blonde Vengeance and fucking and Sister Street Fighter. Sister Street Fighter. <laughs> no, that's it. Was uh, yeah. yeah, you know, that's uh, that lady came on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Michelle Yeoh's fucking uh, dancing partner. There was that one. I, I kind of feel like she came in away. I've heard her name though. She was, there's a book called Chocolate. Chocolate, and it was the it was the guy that did Umbark, and like her whole thing was like she was like death or something, and she could copy movements, and uh, she's watching starts watching like kung fu movies. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, no. yeah, I do remember that. She was in a couple of things afterwards. I forgot her name though. Yeah, not the not the Rachi no. chocolate. This is a yeah chocolate okay. from Umbark. Oh. Oh, we're talking about uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Johnny yeah. Depp. That, not that chocolate. Not that chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, whatever in that. Oh. Yeah, it was oh, the Tony Jaw, he's in the new Expendables. Tony Jaw? Yeah. I guess. He had a weird resurgence because, like, was it uh, in 2020? Uh huh. They were dumping all these movies out. And me and Monty watched this one called, I don't remember, like, Judo or Jiu Jitsu or something like that. <laughs> and it was basically Predator. Uh huh. But, huh? the, but the premise was that there was these aliens that came down uh-huh. once every so often. And like you can only beat them using this like jujitsu, something, whatever they I don't remember what it's called. And I remember the reason we watched it was because freaking mm. Nicolas Cage was the only survivor from the last time these aliens came. Uh, he's the Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, okay. and so he ends up fighting them, and it's it's so fucking weird. But Tony Jaw's in it, uh-huh. but he's not like a big, uh, uh, he's not a big, he's not the main character. No, he does like one fucking flying <laughs> knee kick, and that's it. <laughs> So you got paid base for one yeah, fighting kick yeah. or whatever, you know. And it was what's it, Frank Grallo, the the fucking uh, oh. crossbones uh-huh. from the MCU. Like he was the main guy in it. Yeah, yeah. ugly face crowns. Yeah. yeah, okay, interesting. It was not great. great. Yeah, and, well, I mean and, Predator, screen yeah. like Predator. And then was it? Uh, then he was in uh, Tony John was in uh, was it Monster Hunter, the the video game adapter. I didn't one? see that. Yeah, he's in that. Yeah, really. Yeah, that was a big movie apparently. But I he's, didn't like see the, it. he's like the main guy. Oh. It's him and uh, Mila Jovovich. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I remember season. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know he was a main guy. Yeah. Never saw it. No. Yeah. I heard a lot of people saw it. It's all right. You saw it? It's all right. You saw it yeah. two times? No, I saw it once. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you see it? Uh, tell you, everybody got this like Tony Jaw kick. Like, I, like, I remember mentioning him. She's like, "Who's that?" I'm like, "Who's Tony Jaw?" Yeah, right? But why Monster Hunter of all fucking movies? Because it had just come out. It literally had just come out. Oh, when we were talking about it. Okay. I think that's why I mentioned. I was I mentioned it because she showed me the trailer for it, and yeah. I never played that video game, so I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. And I was like, Tony Jaw, he's back. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Did he ever leave? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? He made those like three, four Umbag movies. And I mean, you assume just because he wasn't here, he was not doing things. No, but no, I'm not saying he stopped doing things, but they yeah. stopped releasing, like, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, or, you know. for all you know, like, in where he's from, there's tons hey, of. Really, he's in the Fast and the Furious movie. What? See? Yeah, I didn't even know. know. He's in a million movies. Yeah. I didn't even know. No. 
He's training other people to become more Ongbox. To go fight elephants. Or yeah, with their <laughs> flying knees and shit. Flying knees. Save the Buddha temples. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't oh, that man. weird where, like, the prequel where he's, like, a, like a fucking, like, a native? Yeah. And like <laughs> it's part two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I a don't prequel know. of, like, you know, because he's, he's fighting his an- own ancestor. Or something. Yeah. 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 I, I don't get it. Yeah. Tony Jaa. You think Tony Jaa can beat a predator? Probably. I think he could be a predator. Like, they, they put him in the suit and let him run around. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, he could definitely be a predator, but no, he did he beat a predator? Did he beat him? I don't know, like the Umba character? Yeah. He's going to fucking Fight out him. him in the head? <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> if Umba could beat Wolverine, then he could beat a predator. That's true. That's possible. Yeah. That's possible. That's what I was saying about it, too, watching those clips of him mm-hmm. fighting. I'm like, oh, keep an eye on the people with the weird hairdos. Yeah. Because they're wearing wigs, so they have pads, so he's going to fucking elbow them in the head. <laughs> It's like their heads on top of their head. No. Yeah. He's going to he's he's do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he did it. He did it, everybody. See the powder come out of their yeah. fucking thing. Oh. Oh. My, favorite, my favorite little like, technique he did was like, I remember when Umbach came to America, mm. they had a screening of it at the Cinerama Dome. And he was there. Like, he showed up there. And I saw clips of it. Yeah. And it was amazing because they were talking about all the stunts he did and then they were like oh you did that with wired and he's like no no I'm gonna do it in front of you right now and he got like a crowd of people and he did the thing where he jumped up and he walked on their shoulders yeah. and I was like holy shit he actually did it <laughs> it's doable man yeah. it's magic yeah you know he's lighter than air it's like he made a pact with the <laughs> devil to be lighter than air well there was that whole story how he almost lost a leg because uh, the second movie after Umbach it was like yeah the Tarantino Presents whatever I think it's called City Hunter or something Hunter or something yeah. like that, right? And there's a, there's, a, there's a crazy fucking stunt he does where he's running on this window. So he's, like, making momentum. So he's, like, you know, running yeah. on the window. And at the last second, an ATV crashes through the window. Right. Well, he was saying how they did that was that there was a little explosive that would set off the glass. So it was already blowing up when the ATV... And he fucking stepped wrong. And literally, he said he felt the explosion. Like, pick and, him up and uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then they told him, they're like, yeah, if you would have had him move the way, you would probably have lost a leg. You know what I mean? yeah, any other way, you would have yeah. fucking forget about it. That's nuts, man. It would have been a yeah. one-legged fucking kung fu fighter. Probably still do shit. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Like, just, he would have still done yeah. He would not have stopped. He yeah. would have kept yeah. on going. Yeah. I'm not saying he would have. Yeah. yeah. Good job. It's amazing. That guy needs more movies, man. I keep saying that, but he's not going to get old. He's going to throw him in there with, like, rappers, like, fucking Jet Li. And no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Roman must die, part two. Mm. <laughs> or like, the Montagues versus the Capulets. <laughs> Roman must die, part two. It'll be, like, it'll be him and, like, Lil' Kim or something. I don't know. Like, no, <laughs> no. Him and Doja Cat. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You watch that. You already watch that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, I mean, I mean. I mean. You have, like, like, like Terry Crews, you have, like, uncle or something. And he'd be like, what are you doing, Tony Jaa? Stop, stop, stop getting involved, Tony Jaa. And then he's going to have to win his respect yeah. before he can, like, go and out with the dance off. Yeah, oh, like, dance off. Yeah. And Terry Crews knows how to dance. Yeah, he does so, how to dance, yeah. So he's going to have to bring it or, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. So why not just make bring it, you know, yeah. bring it back. Or what is it called? Uh, fucking, like, calls called? Moves. In the streets. Yeah. I always forget that Robin must die. It's uh, he ends up fighting. What's his name? It's a uh, fucking uh, Capoeira. Fucking uh, yeah. the straw. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Mark DeCostas. Mark DeCostas. Yeah. I forgot he's the fucking. And it has that weird fucking like Mortal Kombat ending where mm. him and Ghibli are fighting, and then he hits him. You see the and then they see the X-ray like Ugh, he broke his arm. <laughs> that was amazing. What are you talking yeah. about? I remember that. <laughs> that was amazing. They found a ring of fire. Mm. As a, it was the time, you know yeah. that. And a lot of those fighting things ended up with a ring of fire. It has some sort. To, bud. Yeah, a ring cool. of fire, ring of water, yeah. piranhas. Something, yeah. Yeah, alligators. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Only the strong. Only the strong. Greatest movie ever. You keep saying that. <laughs> Greatest fighting movie ever? Yeah. yeah. No. They should make a sequel. Only the weak? No. Only the stronger, right? Only the strongest. So then you got like another guy who mm. wants to do, he heard about what this guy did with Capoeira. He goes mm. and looks and looks for him. Mm, mm, mm. And he gets him. He's like, I have more trouble teens. Oh. They need to learn Capoeira. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with these keys? And then he tells him, he's like, here. And he gives him the big pants. Oh, <laughs> the bigger pants. Because he needs the big pants yeah, for yeah. Capoeira. Uh-huh. <laughs> but these are bigger pants. No, bigger, and, goes, oh, yeah. and then there's a scene where they were those, but these are bigger pants. <laughs> yeah. Can you feel them? Yeah. 
<laughs> Can you feel them with the <laughs> rhythm? And then that Brazilian music starts playing. <laughs> the, the, the timpani go. <laughs> <laughs> that movie ended with Ring of Fire too on the beach, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He fought the, the, the main trouble kid's brother. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he went through the fire. <laughs> yeah. And there was that one Jamaican guy that was like in everything. He was always the henchman. Yeah. He had the dreadlocks Dreadlo- and, the be- and the beard. Well, it's because he had the same dreadlocks and yeah. everything. So that's what you yeah. knew. In the sunglasses, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He looked like the fucking that, uh, that, that catfish from the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little racist. That's what he looked like, though. I'm not saying that's not what he not not looked mm-hmm. like, but yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like the Jamaican Dane Trejo. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember what other, like, the hackers thing was in the hackers. Probably. He was in a bunch of yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yo. I don't remember. I'm yeah. just being racist now. Whoever it was in dreadlocks, it was him. <laughs> That's hard. They don't make movies like that anymore. No. They, they, they should. Won't. Why? I don't know. They don't? Why won't I was watching this video. They're talking huh. about how because all these big movies are, are failing, huh. like all these big blockbusters are like failing, that this might start the, what do you call it? The this, indie renaissance? Yeah. Like, or like where they would give someone $10 million to mm. go make a weird fucking movie. They, it wasn't like super like CG heavy or anything, but it was just like a weird movie, you know? Okay. And like then, like Nick Cage to be like, the guy comes in your dreams. Yeah. Okay. This is a show that I want to I want to watch. I forget what it's called though, but it's like Michael Sarah. Huh. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's one of those things where like you could if you it's like eight bucks. It, it goes towards like saving the environment or something like that. Okay. But it's about time travel, and it looks fucking weird. It's about time travel. Yeah. With Michael Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Sarah's still alive. Yeah. Is he still doing things? He's a Barbie. He was he's doing the Scott Pilgrim thing. I know yeah. that. Oh, good yeah. for him. Yeah. All right. The time travel? Yeah. Do you believe it? It looks pretty funny. Like, it's like it looks like super, like, lo-fi, like, sci-fi. Oh. Like, it's like, he's like a head on a computer or some shit. What? Yeah, and he's telling these people, like, how to time travel. Uh-huh. But the thing is, like, they have to do weird shit, and then, like... Is it a reality show? It's No, no, no. It's sort of like, like, like kind of like Quantum Leap in the sense that, like, you end up going back in time. Uh-huh. But it's just your consciousness going into like someone else's someone body, else, yeah, in okay. the past, and you need, and they're, they're trying to stop like, Hitler. No, they're not. They can't go that far, but I think they're, huh. they're trying to stop like like some kind of like a global like environmental issues. Oh, so they're it's yeah. oh, that's weird. But it looks it looks funny and weird and kind of so like, like Captain a, Planet kind of. No, but it's a, it's very like artsy and shit. Like it looks, I don't know. Huh. I, think, I might do it. <laughs> To figure out what the fuck that yeah, is, they bugs. I, it, yeah, yeah. it's time travel and Michael Sarah. Because I do like, like I don't do like time travel, but you don't like Michael Sarah. I don't know. I'm cool with Michael Sarah. <laughs> he's all right. Uh, no, he's I know. Like, he's getting too old now, but I, I think like, at, at some point he could have been the best Jimmy Olsen ever. Yeah. Right. Looking wise, I guess. Yeah. I see that personality. That's like, oh, gee golly. Yeah. Man. Now he's <laughs> now he can make the best Don Knotts ever. Probably. You know. Oh, no, that's what they're doing. Uh, what is it? Uh, Hill hater? No, I don't know. Really. Uh, a fucking oh, uh, the king of Staten Island. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Yeah, yeah. that's Don Knotts. <laughs> he looks like a Don Knotts. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Andy. I don't know. I keep saying we gotta make a movie. It's gonna be Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Uh huh. Steve Buscemi. Ah, uh. Wom Dafoe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the movie is, but. <laughs> Call it sad eyes. Right. <laughs> They're all just like. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Call it uh, uh, the Goblin King. <laughs> There's just a bunch of goblins. Yeah. Call it uh, three men and a little baby. No, no. We won't see that. You don't <laughs> want to trust the baby with those three guys. <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't no. you? Dude, think they're, about it. They're creepy. We'll own the phone, see if we send me and Pete Davidson taking care of a little baby. That's creepy. If we will make it a little girl, make it a boy, right. and it has bug eyes. Like bug eyes. are <laughs> like, hey, welcome to the bug eyes society. <laughs> uh, uh, mm-hmm. No, stop. It's be a horrible movie. Yeah. You yeah. know, but if this ain't AIDS, $10,000, yeah. you could probably yeah. make it done. Probably make it, yeah. yeah. You know, Disney, Disney Plus, you know, they would make a ton of money. Uh-huh. Remake of Three Men and a Little Baby. Uh-huh. Right? And you go, Barbara Down Jr., <laughs> Chris Evans. <laughs> oh, no. And Ruffalo. <laughs> oh, oh, Ruffalo. <sighs> People would watch that. <laughs> Yeah, especially with Ruffalo. Mm. Ruffalo, it kind of yeah, like yeah. Exa- has that apostrophe at yeah. the end, you know. And if one of them doesn't want to do it, no, 
Renner. Renner yeah. <laughs> I know. I know you're a little Renner. Renner I know. I, know. <laughs> I was going to go out with the. You're going to put a renovation on yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Sorry. It took me a while for that pun to come out. I'm telling you, you make that, you make that remake uh-huh. with those three guys. Uh huh. Million. A million dollars. Billion dollars. Billion, billion dollar, dollar movie. movie. Yeah. 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 They're even a little baby, huh? And then you do like, you know, you just have your like, like oh, Scarlett little Hanson shows up uh, uh, for you know, the cameo. <laughs> like, yeah, the cameo. Like, <laughs> they think she might be the mother, yeah, you know, yeah, she's yeah. one of the yeah, potential yeah, yeah. mothers. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then we have a Halloween episode, you know, they're getting along with yeah. the baby. Halloween episode where they all dress up as a mixed mess yeah. character. Or something, yeah, you know? Ha, 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 ha. And like, Downey's all mad. And Ruffalo's dressed like Iron Man. He's yeah. like, hey, that was mine. He yeah. looks better on me. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, great. You gotta do that episode where they go to Disneyland because you know yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, used to yeah. come. But that's when they jumped the shark, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new Wonder Years. I was watching it. And uh, they they did, already did it. They did the Disneyland episode. That's done. I mean, it was kind of cool though because it was like in the '60s. So yeah. I'm like, oh, Early that's kind of neat. Like, did that, they make it look like? Yeah, movie? it looked like it. Yeah. Okay. But that's done. Once you yeah, get a Disneyland yeah. episode on any TV well, show, well, ABC. Like, what you get? ABC always does that shit. No, no, like, I know, I get it. But it's kind of when they're like kind of hail marys yeah. towards the end of the show when it's yeah. dying. Freaking Family Matters, yeah. Full House, any of those yeah. shows got a, you know, Disney, well, they, they do Disney week, right? They all go to Disneyland, right? Yeah. Although that Wonder <laughs> show, but it cracked me up because like this one scene just was like it caught me off guard. Yeah. So the whole thing was the main kid wants to go to Disneyland, and all his rest of the family are like, oh, let's stop here, let's stop here, right? And so finally the car breaks down, and they're like, they're like, oh, we can't go to Disneyland, you know? And he gets he gets fucking pissed. Yeah. And he throws a tantrum and he basically goes, you know what? We did everything you guys wanted to do. And the only thing I wanted to do was go to Disneyland. And, uh, you know, he's all mad. He, he storms off. And then his mom is like, she looks at, she looks at the dad and she's like, you know what we need to do? And he starts taking his belt off. Right? Nice. <laughs> and she's like, no, we got to go to Disneyland. He's like, oh, all right. <laughs> nice. He's like, kick his ass. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the ty- style of the time, <laughs> you know? What, what was it say? It was a different time. Yeah. Yeah. He was gonna beat the crap out of him. Yeah, what? What do you see? This is wrong. <laughs> no, not wrong. It just—it was funny though. Cause it was just like, oh, I didn't expect it. <laughs> like, how, dude, how can you watch a, a, a sitcom based on anything pat before the eighties yeah. and say like, oh, they're not gonna get a whooping? Yeah, you know. <laughs> it was even funnier. It's the freaking guy from uh, Psych. Um, yeah, the the, the friend. Uh, yeah. What's his fucking name? But his friend, his best yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's the dad. Yeah. And he plays it super straight, like he's making it super serious. Really, it's, it's fucking weird. Yeah, that's I, I can't see him as a straight man, <laughs> yeah. but he does it straight. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, maybe once yeah, it's over, I'll watch it. They did the design episode. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to hear it's that. It's bound to happen. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. But I think you're old money by coming that. You kind of have to do it, you know, like at some point. You know? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. The free ride to Disneyland, no problem. Mm-hmm. Either that, if you get past the Disneyland episode, you get the Europe episode. That's true. That's you true. Know, get the overseas mm-hmm. episode. You know. Oh, we made it a Holland or yeah. you know, some weird <laughs> random European place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that one show, the one with the uh, Topher Grace, the one with the, his rich Seven brother. Show? Oh, the siblings or something s- economic or that? Oh, something economic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's like the rich one and they're no. all poor and yeah. they don't want help or some yeah. nonsense. They did like that. an episode. Really? Already? Yeah. Yeah. I like that show. Like, what's like few episodes but yeah. it was like i can't i can't think yeah. i can do this shit over because it's the same thing over every day yeah, every, every, yeah, you know, yeah. i'm rich you're not i'm rich you're not you're I just, rich, i'm not i remember i started watching yeah. it out of just like curiosity because yeah. the main guy the rich guy yeah he was a modern family right and he was funny in that but he has a real weird voice like it's like it's so deep and like gragly you can't understand that. yeah i go they made him the lead of a show like <laughs> right <laughs> makes sense to me so i was, I was like i'm curious yeah <laughs> It was all right. It, it, it had potential. It's yeah. Just I couldn't send it, the, the recycling of everything over and over again. Yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is. Sitcoms, man. Oh, right. It's a sitcom. Kind of, technically. No, because that's what the sitcoms used to do, mm-hmm. right? Same shit every week. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. Yeah. I guess I'm cool with it then. I need something new. There's nothing, man. There's nothing new. A Loki next week or couple weeks but it's not new it's just continuing old stuff yeah but i feel like 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 out of everything they did loki's uh, gonna be the best thing <laughs> not the best thing but i think it's the most different you know what i mean like i think like i think uh like wandavision was crazy uh-huh. but it was they, they were still kind of playing it safe like it was still like it's it was, a connecting to uh-huh. everything loki doesn't connect yeah. to shit and i i mean i love 
fucking Winter Soldier. Yeah. But because because I love that. Uh, that's my favorite trilogy, the Captain America trilogy. Uh-huh. It's such a good show, but it's just like, oh, that's just a long Captain America sequel. Like that could have been a movie. I'm telling you, and it I'm could, like, yeah. It, 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 but that's not a bad thing. I mean, I, I feel like they, they expand they they expand it where they probably couldn't if they made it a movie. Uh uh-huh. But you know, it was cool. I said it could have been a movie, and it would have been fine. We could have got less boat scene. That's the best episode. I fucking hate that boat scene. <laughs> it's just the best. The best episode. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's amazing. It. We're friends now. They could explain that like in ten minutes yeah, yeah, instead of forty-five minutes that's of great scene, watching man, boats. They, like, and they, they finally crawfish and they finally you know find common ground. I fucking hated that. Episode. They go from being like that's the thing. I think like, <laughs> I was talking to Mark about it one time and he goes, he goes, oh yeah, they go from being. Oh, they have a mutual friend. Yeah, to and friends. They become friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I get it. It's mm. it's pivotal. It's yeah, very pivotal. Yeah. It's a, you know a, a canonical point, like yeah. you know. But they, they could have done like a twenty minutes, ten nah. minutes, fucking two minutes and shit. That's a know? bad episode because that's the episode that opens when they kick the shit out of uh, what's his name. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. US agent. Right? US agent. And they, they yeah. beat the shit. <laughs> and with that, they should have been friends already. We're like, you know what? No, because that was a good beat, guy. <laughs> oh, great, great, thanks, thanks. You no, because because Bucky was still. We fucking, ran out of it. Yeah, he ran he was, ang- anger. Yeah, he was so mad. Look, yeah. he was so mad because he was like. He gives him the shield back and he's like, "Don't lose it next again." <laughs> like, yeah, he's running on anger. Like I'm saying, he's running on anger. So that that would have been perfect, yeah. you know. Like, look, chill out. Thanks for the shield, yeah. man. Thanks for being a friend. Yeah. Done. Uh-huh. Eat the shit out of him. <sighs> anyway, yeah, because that, that's where you get the explanation of like you know, how like you know he doesn't have anything anymore. Like you know he was he's he's nothing fucking, left to lose. He's fucking Steve in like yeah. Avengers One. Where he yeah, has nothing like left Steve's to lose. gone. Yeah, he has no family. All he has left is that fucking shield. Yeah, that's the only thing that's connecting him to his. Family. It's amazing. It's a great episode. Yeah, but <laughs> all he has is that shield that connects him to Steve, and he doesn't have the shield. That what's his name has the shield. Yeah, that's like, that's why he's mad because he's younger and he's not a compromised agent mm. of the KGB. <laughs> See, I have that? a I have a theory on that, uh-huh. and I'm hoping they explain it in the next Captain America movie. Uh-huh. So clearly, this was. Steve's decision uh-huh. to give Sam the show because if you think about it, is he should have given it to Bucky. Because, yeah, you know, I like, mean his best friend, yeah, sidekick, right. etc. You know, and yeah, there's there's that argument that it, because he was compromised and all that. Okay, yeah, okay, I get that. But uh-huh. when you look at Steve Rogers as a character, I think he didn't give it to him because he's like, I don't need to give this guy another fucking burden. Like this guy went from being a soldier to a, a dead soldier, bra- yeah, a brainwashed assassin. Uh-huh. And now he's getting his shit together. Like, I don't need to make him come to America. Like, I don't need to, like, do that shit to him. Why know? not ask him about that? He probably did. Because there's that line in the show where they said that they talked about it. Like, when he said, he goes, he says, like, oh, me and Steve were talking about giving the shield. We didn't understand how, you know, the difference. What it meant yeah. or something, right? Yeah. To make a black man come to America. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the, so they talked about it. Like, you know. But they talked about giving it to him. They didn't talk about, hey, how about you hold it for a second, you know? Yeah, but I think I think it was just that you know, he's going through a lot of shit, man. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, yeah. <laughs> I understand, but part of that yeah. going a lot of shit is him re, re reinventing himself, redeeming yeah. himself. Oh, making, yeah, you know. But, but I think I think that that was the best part of that show because those movies are so far apart. Yeah, where in the boat episode when they're having that talk with throwing the shield back and forth, yeah, you everyone forgets. Fucking Sam started off as a, like a fucking. Uh, a crisis counselor yeah for people with PTSD Bucky was going to therapy wasn't working for him because he didn't need therapy he needed a crisis counselor <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck a dog yeah they, so they, it, it, it's fucking missed opportunity if you ask best me best episode ever because of that <laughs> so they were they, he was having a catch with his paw yeah <laughs> he was working shit out with him mm. um, I See, get it the only thing that bugs me about that episode is that, uh, that the it's, boat it's obvious that they cut it Differently, like yeah. the editing, because him and Bucky are throwing the shield. Sam and Bucky are throwing the shield, and they're like catching it. But then, right immediately after that scene, is Sam training, uh-huh. and he's running around. He's running, and he can't catch the shield. Like it keeps like looking like, oh shit! Like, oh. So you could tell that like, oh, that should have come first. Like yeah. that should have been, you know. Or, or maybe it's, uh, it's just standing up. It's no. easier to catch when it's standing, not when you're moving. Because yeah. he was trying to move. Remember, yeah. he was doing flips and yeah. shit, trying to catch it that way. But that was the whole thing, right? He had he had to do flips because he didn't have superhuman strength. Yeah. So he was trying to like kill the momentum. Of, yeah. Like it, he's agile. It's interesting. <laughs> like, yeah. No. Yeah. Like when he first comes out and in and he and he jumps through the window and all that yeah. stuff, he really shouldn't be able to do no. that. He's a regular dude. Yeah. You know? well, he's got like Wakanda, a Wakanda suit now. Yeah. <laughs> 
That shit's probably like super enhanced and shit. It, it absorbs the shocks yeah. and you know rearranges them, re redistributes, yeah. and re oh boy, the pizza box. <laughs> yeah, that's what we get when we start recording on top of a pizza box. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, but I'm saying, but other than that, like I love that series. That's yeah. such a good series. That's the series that I could, I have before. I'll put it on, yeah. and Zero. I realize, oh shit, it's over. Like it's like the whole. I watched the whole thing. All six episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's only six episodes. Yeah. I mean, Hawkeye is a good show. That's yeah. a fun show. But that's another one. It could have been a movie. That could have been a movie. Yeah. And and I think they expanded it enough where they didn't. There, there wasn't a lot of like bullshit just to fill space. But yeah, it could have been a movie. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I. But see, the cool thing about doing shows is you could do these like, uh, what do you call it? Like like okay like the the scene in Hawkeye uh -huh. when we see Yelena when she got freaking dusted and she came back, you couldn't do that in the movie. That'd be weird. Yeah. Like, that'd be a hard... Because you'd have to... Like, that'd have to be like the beginning of the movie and be like, what the fuck is this? And who, what the hell? Yeah. For people who don't know, what the yeah. fuck happened? Yeah. yeah. And so like with a show, you can have all those openings and make them do... You know, like... Wh know. Wherever, whenever yeah. you want. Yeah. I fucking hate that. It's amazing though. <laughs> When's the next season? Hawkeye? Yeah. Nah, no, no, no. Uh, Loki in a couple weeks and then... Uh, Winter Soldier? Never. Never. <laughs> no, we're getting a movie. Oh, we're getting the movie Captain America yeah, for yeah, whatever yeah, the hell yeah. it is. Then. And then he's in uh, Thunderbolts. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Winter Soldier. Allegedly. No, he did. It's uh, coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. I, dude, I give up on things coming out anymore, so I'm just, you know. I mean, I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's coming out. Just like Expendables, all of a sudden it shows up, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, YouTube's telling me to watch it, yeah, yeah. you know. Oh, well, we're in a writer's strike and shit, so, you know. Oh, yeah, that's still going yeah, on? Yeah, that's still going on. Huh. And so people are pissed about the, the Wolverine, the, the Deadpool 3. Yeah. Uh, cause everyone thought like, cause it's supposed to come out in like, May. Yeah. And then, uh, but they, that they'd redo it. No. Well, no, they, they basically said when it, when the writer strike hit, the actor strike hit, yeah. uh, they were only halfway through filming. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, at that point might as well finish it. No. Well, they have to, but, but yeah. it's gonna, it's not gonna come out in May. <laughs> That's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. These nerds can wait. Can they? Yeah. Can they? they can wait. <laughs> can <Fuck> they? <laughs> oh, did you see the, the, the announcement? The, the Stranger Things announcement. Uh, so all no. week they well didn't they push it back like yeah, two years oh, yeah. or something? It, it yeah, it got put back a lot. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, they, all week they've been teasing like like oh is there be an announcement on Wednesday? Is there be an announcement on Wednesday? No, tell me it's like Ninja Turtles versus no. Ninja <laughs> Things. <laughs> no, they announced because uh, they kept on saying they made a deal with Netflix, uh -huh. and so um, they're making more shows. One of them is weird. It's a stage show set in Hawkins. Like a straight up like play, uh -huh. right? <laughs> but it's a mo show. It's a show on Netflix about a play that's set in. No, Hawkins. they're gonna like film a play in Hawkins. Yeah, and this is the show. This is the show. It's one of the shows. Uh, it's a play. It's a play that they're filming in Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it about the? No, it just it takes place in Hawkins or somehow tied into it somehow. Okay, I don't know. No Demogorgon. No, no, maybe. Oh, what the fuck! But the show they announced uh, today. Mm. It's called Hawking 1956. Oh. And it's going to be young, Hopper. Well, yeah. Great. All all the characters young. Uh -huh. Yeah. And dealing with monsters? I don't know. Because <laughs> there's no way they can know about these monsters. They haven't torn the fabric of reality or the fuck. Oh, yeah, they did. Cause what, fucking, in 1956? Fucking Vecna, right? What, that was like back in the... 70s. I think it was before. Was it in the seventies? No, no, because no, because they're in the eighties, right? And Robert England was uh, he was young, or <laughs> right? <laughs> you mean Toxy? Toxy? No, fucking Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah, oh, Robert England. Yeah. Was it seventies yeah. year? Uh, I don't know. Fifty six would be like what, like thirty years before? Yeah, that would make them like ten year old kids. That would make them kids, obviously, right? Well, at least teenagers, right? Early teens. Because Hopper can't be like fifty years old, can he? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or to say yes. You know, he had a little daughter at one point. Yeah, Remember, yeah. he had a family at one mm -hmm. point. So I don't know. I don't know what yeah. this is. I don't. I'm. I'm not excited at all. Yeah. I'm, they I'm, showed the cast, and I was like, oh, cool. I'm more confused than yeah, anything. Yeah. I don't know. They even cast uh, what's his face, uh, a younger version of uh, what's his name, fucking Sam Wise. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Sam Wise. And Sean Astin. Sean Astin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They, show, they, they, they cast a younger version. Is it going to be... Is this going to be it? Is that what it's going to be? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be some sort yeah, of they, weird... Yeah, they cast uh, a young version of um, 
the fucking doctor, the 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 old the the, the papa. Yeah, the, they the cast hell? a young version of him too. So it has to have to have. Yeah, to, they have to have been doing shit. Have to have to. Yeah. What if it's like, oh, we were wiped all. Because I don't know. No, you know what? I don't, I don't even. I don't even want to touch it now anymore. <laughs> After the whole Ninja Turtle thing, I'm I'm, I'm kind of would be cool burned out. Would be cool if the ending of the first season of the, uh, fucking Eleven shows up. She's like, I could travel through time now, right? <laughs> In that voice too, I could travel through time now. Yeah. My name's Eleven because I'm thirty years old now. <laughs> shows up like the Terminator and yeah, shit. Yeah. I need your clothes. In the time, so I can you know yeah, fit in with the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm okay. With that. I'm okay with <laughs> right. that. Terminator 11. No. That's the name of Terminator 11. I'd watch that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they had that Terminator, was it like in season two or three? That guy from Russia that Hopper was fighting? Yeah. And like he was in he he was indestructible, was, right? Yeah. The dude, he was... <laughs> But he wasn't uh, like a robot. Or no, anything. We I, I, I thought we, I thought they were gonna reveal like, oh, he was uh, enhanced yeah. or something like that. But no, they they no. just did some dude yeah. that was really. I mean, they could have said like he was possessed, but yeah. he was, or whatever, or something. Right? Yeah, but, but no, no he's just no. some tough Russian dude, <laughs> <laughs> as they were in the eighties, back were, in the good old days. Yeah, the, you know, the KGB before yeah. the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> Before the tracksuits and the guns, these yeah. men were men. Men. <laughs> they drank vodka for fucking breakfast. Mm-hmm. And, Just to keep warm. And trained with bears. bears. <laughs> yeah, they would wrestle bears yeah. in the middle of the tundra, <laughs> whatever the hell. <laughs> Lift logs and yeah, shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Russians are Look. men. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, they announced that today. I'm like, hmm, it's interesting. Yeah. It, I mean, long way to come from uh, X Files with creepy shit to like, you know, Stranger things. things. Yeah. 30 years of that shit, apparently. Yeah. It all began. Uh huh. Fucking like. Kochek the Night Sucker. Nice I'm gonna go straight to Kochek, yeah. you know? Dude, I love Kochek the Night nice <laughs> like, I don't know why uh-huh. we don't have like a modern Kochek the Night nice I'm talking like. We tried, remember? We no, tried. No, no, no. We I'm tried. Thinking, I'm talking like a legit, uh-huh. like you get some kind of comedian. Uh huh. Because that's the thing about Kojak. That was the best part of Kojak. He wasn't the tough guy. No. Like, he'd be brave and he'd be like, I'm going to go fight this fucking vampire. Yeah, I know, yeah. But he wasn't like, he'd be like, oh, fuck this. He'd run away. <laughs> he'd be the first one out the fucking door. Yeah. Yeah, no. And it was it was so good because it was always like, at the, at the end, it was always like, you know what? <laughs> fuck, I got to go back. I got to do it. Like, no one, no else, one, <laughs> no one else fucking believes me. So, like. <laughs> but that was, that was every fucking episode, yeah, yeah. you know? It's a voodoo priest. Oh shit! I gotta run. Oh, but who's gonna take care of it? Fuck! It's okay. Gotta deal with it. Gotta deal with it. Fuck! Like anyway. imagine like a, like, a, like a, this is probably extreme. Imagine yeah. like a, like a Zach Galifianakis <laughs> as a cold check. That's too funny. Though. Yeah, but we were good though because he could play that straight kind of. Yeah, 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 he yeah. could play that kind of straight. Like I'm, I'm you know, two ferns like, kind of guy. Yeah, because cold check was like kind of a goofball. He was a slob, and he was kind of like, yeah, you know, but like, he was good at his job. Yeah, Remember yeah, that he yeah. was a good reporter. Yeah. You know. He was kind of like Columbo. He was the Columbo of uh, Supernatural <laughs> shit, right? He was the Columbo Supernatural shit. Yeah. I don't know. I remember the only thing when, when growing up, I would watch that movie over. Because yeah. it would come up every once in a while on yeah. Channel 13 versus yeah. the vampire and shit. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing I think. And then all of a sudden there was a show yeah. called Jack. I'm like, holy shit. Oh. And, it, and it wasn't the guy with the sucker. It was a <laughs> guy with a recorder in a hat. And it was like, uh, what do you call it? Um... That movie is fucking dark, man. The vampire the one? The vampire one. Yeah. Because it's him being all whatever, right? Because I think it's like... Vegas, his girlfriend yeah. freaking dies. No, she doesn't die. So what happens She leaves him. The mayor of Vegas is uh-huh. like, we don't want people not coming here because they think there's vampires. Yeah. So shut the fuck up, Kolchak. And he was like, no. Because that was his thing. Because he fucked up. He uh-huh. worked in New York. And he, he got kicked out from He there. got kicked out because he accidentally fucking reported that something wasn't true. Like, he mm. was talking to some guy who was lying to him. Yeah. And then it got proven, and then they, they, oh, you lost your credibility, you're out. Yeah. That's such a great premise, because at, at that point... That's real writing, that's real journalism. Yeah, because then at that point, yeah, they're not going to believe this guy who lost his credibility about fucking vampires and fucking mm, monsters and shit. Nope, nope. <laughs> at this point, he's off the rails. Yeah, he yeah. just he, he can't deal with that. Yeah. So yeah, Vegas fucking kicked him out, so yeah. he goes to L.A. Yeah. No, he goes to Chicago. Chicago. Goes to Chicago. But then yeah. he worked for uh, an international... Not, uh, Syndicate, Syndicate paper. yeah. So they would send them to different states, to different, you know, like, yeah. 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 No, because the, the movie was in L.A. No, it was Vegas. Vegas? Yeah. Was, was that? No, because it had that giant cross that's right there. In, uh, no, that, right. that's that's an episode of the show. Oh, that's an episode that of the is, show? The second vampire he fights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit was all over the yeah, place. Yeah. I, remember, I remember that episode, too, because he goes to L.A. to, uh, that's the other thing, too. 
He always like pawns off his fucking assignments. Yeah, there's real assignments. Yeah. And so like, the assignment they sent him to was like, oh, some celebrity was selling a house. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, I want you to do a profile on the house. And he was like, whatever. And I remember there's a line in there mm-hmm. that it gets me every time where he's driving through L.A. And he sees this Capitol Records building. Yeah. And he's like, Los Angeles is such a weird place. Like, who would, who would, buy, who would pay to get a, a building shaped like a sack of pancakes? Pancakes. <laughs> right? Sack of pancakes. <laughs> the records. But okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. I tell you, you gotta do a cold track show, like like a legit cold track show. Right? It's gonna be hard. I mean, they're doing Quan Leap, why not, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the the trailer for season two dropped. Oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> no. I don't know. No. It looks more sliders than Quan Leap. Oh. Like. Okay, I mean, I'm okay with sliders. It just, I don't know. It, I, I could be okay with sliders. I don't know. I could be okay with sliders. <sighs> yeah. I, you know what? I don't even want to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch the first episode and I'm gonna be okay with it. Because the way it ended kind of picked me, pissed me off. Because it was just kind of like, oh, dude, really? Yeah. yeah. We go to the future, yeah. this fucks it up, and then we go all the way back. No, but remember, it ended that cliffhanger. We're like, oh, someone's coming through. And yeah. <laughs> no one, we don't know who it was. It's, it wasn't Ben. Yeah. Tell you, man, they could have broke the internet. Mm. It's got back. Like, no. Come out. <laughs> that's, what, I mean, I, I could tell you that's what they probably wanted, yeah. but they're probably not going to yeah. get, you know? No, so that, that would have been an easy way to do it. Mm. You don't come through. As someone else. And that's how it ends, right? The fucking Scott is like, what the fuck, right? And then, like, and then season two opens up, mm. and we find out that this whole thing that they thought that might have been a side effect to bring him back, mm. bring him back, you know, Sam, right? Yeah, the other guy gets lost. And so then Sam stays there for one episode mm. to try to get him back. Doesn't work out. So he takes his place. No, so then Sam's like, you know what? And then and then, then uh, fucking Magic's like, you know what, Sam, go live your life. You can leave. You yeah, can, we'll you, figure this shit you, out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> but Sam wouldn't go though. He would have gone. He would like, be like, you know what? I am i don't belong out there. <laughs> this world isn't mine. Let He's me help you. a wife you. and kid. Dude, but they're like a bajillion years old now. That's fine. So is he. No, he wouldn't be. He would be the same age he left. No. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Scott Bakula's older. No, there was that reference. That, like, as the show went on, they were like, oh, your hair got white. Oh, you're, yeah, he's aging. He was aging in the background. Yeah. Yeah. It's just to cover his, you know, yeah. agency, his yeah. real life agency. Yeah. The CG Scott Bakula then. Oh no! CGI, they don't have, they don't CGI have Scott Bagula. They don't have that money, man. You want to get Scott TV? Bagula? No way, man. Mm. I'm fine with old Scott Bagula. I like old Scott Bagula. Yeah, he's cool. But he's hanging out like in uh, what do you call it? insane asylums in fucking Orange, <laughs> Philadelphia, whatever. Oh, he's a janitor. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had saw that clip. And I'm like, what is this from? Like, what the hell? <laughs> and he starts singing yeah. too. Like, Ziggy, <laughs> like, Ziggy, where are you? <laughs> so good. Oh, speaking of which, uh, it's who was it? The Only Murders? No. Uh-huh. What's his name? Fucking um, C. Martin's like uh, uh, stunt double. Like yeah. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. And she was all like, oh, yeah, I just got off a job working with Scott Bakula. <laughs> I was doubling for Scott Bakula. <laughs> See, that's hilarious. I love it when she has to do the stunts. They cut, the cut they do. It's like, uh, 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 <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> that shows It's so funny, too, because like, like, there's certain shots you're like, ah, oh, she does kind of look like him. <laughs> like, <laughs> From the side yeah. and the back side, yeah. and all right, cool. <laughs> I could see why, yeah. they would do that. but that's the thing. You also have to realize that was when he was Brazos. Yeah. So that was like yeah. thirty years back in the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's great. She fucking dude, twist I, and twist and twist. I'm fucking really liking it. It's not her. No, but you know what? It's funny because I fucking fucked up because yeah, I was gonna tell you and Mark. Remember I told you like a, a couple weeks ago I was like like oh she's like what's his face's mom mom yeah and then and then when I forgot the next episode I was like no she's because when he said oh my, I'm my, adopted yeah and I was like oh no it's You're that adopted. dude mm-hmm. you know <laughs> so I told you the, yeah. the adopted it's yeah. adopted it has to be her and then she had the papers it yeah. has, but then I was like oh well it wasn't Ben she would be grieving it was yeah. Ben yeah. You know, so it had to be the brother. Yeah. Especially like yeah, when he said he was adopted. That was a good twist, too. I didn't even think about that. It's, it's so fucking obvious. Mm. When they found a little book, mm. and like, oh, she's upset. And now she was with the brother. Her brother. And yeah. I was like, oh. Because he did everything for him. Yeah. All the accolades were for him. Yeah, he stole the fucking Cobra. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, all the accolades yeah, yeah. were for Ben, even though he did yeah. all the grunt work. You know? That's so who do you think she's like covering for him? Like, yeah. Do you think the brother killed him? Yeah. Because there's that one scene when he was, like, crying with the fucking handkerchief. Yeah. 
The bloody handkerchief? Yeah. You mean the bloody yeah, handkerchief? Yeah, the one that, you know, yeah. that Watcher Face sold to him? Yeah, yeah. for $7,000. Yeah. So that means it had blood on it. She was carrying her around yeah. with blood. That lady's insane. Well, oh, she just had a fucking kept though, right? She just yeah. picked shit up. Or, yeah. Was that a trade of her since the beginning? I don't know. I gotta go back and watch Yeah, because I don't yeah. think that was even... Yeah. They just added that to her in this yeah. season. You know, her and her best friend. Mm. Whatever. I and mean, yeah, that was weird too, because I remember like, were they best friends? I thought they were like, cl- they were like buddies, but I remember they were like. They were the best. It's kind of one of those things like they weren't friends, friends, but they yeah. were so hated between everyone yeah. else that they were friends. I guess yeah. you know everyone hated them enough, but they they were similar to. Mm. I guess. Yeah, I guess you know? that makes sense. Kind of like Steve Martin and fucking <laughs> Martin Short. You know, <laughs> that's some vibe I'm getting in the season. Yeah. No, no one likes these guys. No, because they're, they're always causing trouble, man. Yeah, no one likes these guys. You know, I had a bad feeling at one point, though, when when, when um, Buck and Mabel puts out the episode without them. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, like, oh, are they leaving the show? It's going to be these two fucking guys now. And I'm like, With her. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm out at the end. Of the- I don't think so. Yeah. I think, okay. This might be the end, though. I think this might yeah, be Yeah, and this end. might be, if this is the ending, she's going to go and do her own thing with those two yeah. guys or whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, Tina Fey is going to be like, hey, you guys. And she's going to get yeah. in with uh, Martin Short and uh, yeah. Steve Martin. That'd be kind of cool. That, see? <laughs> That's an all star no. cast right no. there, right? Yeah. See, I, I, I don't want to mind. Yeah, it'd be you know? cool. It'd be you know? cool. It'd Tina Fey, cool. instead yeah. of selling, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's yeah. cute and everything, but. She looked weird, which is blonde, though. In that one episode, I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> she said it's only for a few more weeks. Yeah. But yeah, no, the, I don't know. The, this season has been slower than the, than the oh, first super, two. Oh, super, super, but, super. But like, it still has me. Like, I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested. I guess as compared to the other ones, since the other ones were in the building, we kind of yeah. knew who the murders were. This time we're outside of the yeah. building, so we have more options available, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you will. But it's still a, a small cast. So yeah. who, who done it? Yeah. You know? I think, I think what it is, I can remember like the last episode, I was kind of like, all oh, right, no. whatever. But, then, but this last episode, I mean, not to give anything away, but like when, when, when he has the fucking heart attack at the end, dude, I, I fucking felt like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, <you're> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 he had, and I, I stopped everything when yeah. I was doing, I was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. But they took her away. Did she see him have a heart attack? No, she did. She, 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 she was already yeah, gone, right? Yeah. Okay, so that that well, the fucked up thing yeah. too. Like I think that it, it it was actually like stressful because I was, when I was watching it because he's having the heart attack. Yeah, and then he's yelling, see Martin yelling, "Call for help!" Oh. And you see, no one is. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was a bit of a dickish yeah. move right there. Yeah. I don't know it, when it, when I mean, don't get me wrong. When you see something like that, most of the time you're shocked. Yeah, you know, most people won't fucking move right away. Yeah. But you hear someone yelling, you gotta fucking start doing something. Yeah. God damn it! But see, the thing is, it, die, it, it's so it's so well written though because yeah. I was actually trying to mark about this the other day how like I felt like they, that was like a throwaway plot point because like, they brought it up, but then they, they don't talk about it anymore. Mm-hmm. And then now it's like, oh shit, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, you know, like good job, you guys, yeah. bringing it full circle. Yeah, this is full circles we like. Yeah, and he had pills and stuff like that yeah. in the last season, right? Yeah. He had to get all this other mm-hmm. stuff for it. Good job. It's a good show, man. I forgot about it. Yeah. I'm telling you, when yeah. he had it, but the, as soon as he had it, like, oh, yeah, there's pills and shit mm-hmm. and the, you know, the sun and all that stuff. I remember? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. All right. It's, it's good, good. It's well written, man. Yeah. Like, what's his face when, uh, when uh, the, the, her fr- Mabel's friend, the, the, the deaf guy, like, mm-hmm. I, so I forgot about that dude. And then, then he came yeah, back, yeah, I'm like, oh, it's that guy. <laughs> And I like when the uh, Topher, whatever his name is, he's like, oh, you're that guy. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we know. If you suddenly see this one, get the fuck out. Get yeah, right. motherfucker. <laughs> we get it. Yeah. yeah. It's weird, though, right? It's, it's so meta, too. Like, when they're talking, like, oh, season two was, season one was better. Like, da, 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 da. like that's, it's funny. Yeah. That, that's for the for the people who are hardcore. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, we get it. We yeah. understand that, yeah. you know, that was better. But you know what? And please enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Fuckers. <laughs> But it, it, does, it, does a really, it still does a really good job at, at giving you those, those twists and stuff. Like, you'll, yeah. you'll see it coming and it just fucking happens. You're like, yeah, but the last five minutes, you know, yeah. look at your timer. If it's five minutes till you're yeah. getting ready for that twist. Yeah. You know? It could be the finale of last season. Like, they, they fucking bring in Paul, Paul Rudd. Yeah. And then he died. You're like, Wait, what's going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> Tune in next season, kids. Yeah, come, yeah. In, come back next year and you'll yeah. see. Like, yeah. yeah, see him die again the first two episodes yeah. over and over again. Yeah. But what, was, what if it was called Murders in the Basement? Oh, that's like a H24 show. Yeah, or a <laughs> uh, Skin and Mac show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hey there. It's like, oh. I, that's how you know we're getting to the second half of yeah, the show. Yeah, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, get raunchy. Get raunchy. <laughs> sort of the after hours happens. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if people are willing to sit through the first half of the show, they, is, they get rewarded. You get the reward? Yes, sir. That's reward. reward. Oh, interesting. So, rub okay. your nipples hard, kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> okay, softly then. <laughs> so, yeah, and the, Oh, speaking of uh, family friendly. Yeah, fuck that lady again. <laughs> no, not that lady. Not no. That, lady. <laughs> that kid should have been on a leash. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, I did a comic book show at a church <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> fuck, dude. I, I'm still fucking reeling over that. I was here thinking to myself, I wonder how they're going to do exorcism to those fucking people. <laughs> what else do you do at a fucking church, oh, dude? Yeah. yeah. You hung out with the nuns? There was no nuns. It was like what uh, the fuck? There was like the a clergy. It was a youth pastor. Oh, like, one of those. Like a young youth pastor. Oh. Like, you know, like, uh, like I want to be cool with the kids. Yeah, was yeah. skateboarding? Yeah, she might have been. I don't know. Oh, yeah. was she wearing like sunglasses on her head? No. And uh-huh. you know, no. No, she had like a Hawaiian shirt on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she yeah. wanted to be cool yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I like youth pastors. Yeah, and then there was a lot of like like brothers, and they yeah. thought they called them like, oh, it's brother so and so, brother so and so, and. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I wonder who their parents are. <laughs> and God? <laughs> um, it was a mom. Uh, Jesus? <laughs> you obviously don't know your religion. I don't know. Um, well, it was interesting. It was interesting. There was a lot of like families. Um, I mean, it's church, of course. Yeah. It was on a Saturday. It was a Saturday, yeah, right? Saturday, yeah. Who goes to church There, there was a very... I wish I would have gotten his card. Uh-huh. Uh, but... Oh... The guy that drew the action Bible was there. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, you didn't tell me this shit? No. And what? he had copies of it for sale. Yeah, did you buy any? No, no, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no. I should have gone to this fucking thing. But here's the kicker. Uh-huh. He had a portfolio uh-huh. where he was selling art and stuff, right? right? Personal and art. Apparently, he's done other stuff. Like He's done covers for like IDW. And oh, no someone, shit. I was, like, I was like, oh. And I looked at some of his covers. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, we're going to that cover. Like, yeah. I didn't know the same dude. So we, me and Miguel went to his portfolio, yeah. and it was a lot of like the, the action Bible pages in there, Fuck yeah. and there was like some Lone, uh, Lone Ranger pages action in there. Bible. But here's the thing: they, they got me. I was like, "Oh, what the fuck!" Like it was a page, and there's like a drawing hmm. of Superman on one knee Uh-oh. and Jesus standing over him Uh-oh. with his hands on his shoulders, blessing them and shit. And I was like, "Interesting." And then you put the page. There's a Batman one. Oh, you put the page. There's a Wonder Woman one. Oh. <laughs> And he go again, and there was a Captain America one. Mm-hmm. But the one I almost bought. Oh. <laughs> I almost bought because I was like, what the hell? There's a Punisher one. <gasps> <laughs> How much was he selling? I don't know. Oh, I almost got it. Shit, dude. Action Bible guy. Yeah, it was a like Punisher, and he was like down on one knee, and he had a fucking bazooka. <laughs> Side, right? Was it like a legit drawing or was yeah. this like a like a no, print? No, a, 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 well, no, the print, yeah. No, the print, yeah. it wasn't like a yeah. like a like yeah. a original drawing because mm-hmm. I want the original for and that it, one. And that one, uh huh, Jesus was like floating, Ooh. and he was floating above him because he has to take in a lot of sin, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I want the the Jesus with the ghost rider, ghost rider, you go. <laughs> and then that was like, not even the weirdest thing the guy had. Oh, no. So he did a full size, uh-huh. uh, uh, I guess life size, right? Drawing uh-huh. of Goliath. Life size drawing? Yeah, it's a nine foot drawing. How did he take it into the thing? It's foldable? It was, I, I'm assuming. But it was like fully rendered, colored, and everything. And he was holding a spear. Okay. And it had like the the the, the scale the the tape the measure thing. Feet, you, yeah. yeah. How tall are so you? So you can like how tall are you compared to Goliath? And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Gimmicks, man. They yeah. work. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. work. Did you measure yourself? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. No. You're still the same size you always were. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, but, five uh, foot dweeb. But oh, <laughs> but uh, that was one of the highlights of the show. Like, <laughs> that's it. Including Mike, Mike Kunkel was there. Mike Kunkel was there. You know, and this was the action Bible guy was a oh, highlight. Oh, well, because it was like the weirdest thing I've seen. No, that's like oh. that's like the perfect thing you would see uh, at yeah, the fucking yeah, convention sure, at the sure. Bible fucking basement, whatever. And then it was. we went, we kept walking around, yeah. and there was this other guy, and he had a book about it was called like the Anointed or something. Like that. It was like it was like religious superheroes. Yeah. And he had written and drawn all the issues, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're like, "Oh, cool, cool!" And then, like, it was it was interesting looking, right? Mm-hmm. And then he said, "I goes, oh, here's issue one," 
And this is the latest one, issue 46. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this guy has 46 issues. Whoa. <laughs> this religious superhero team. Wow. Wow. Aspirations, mm-hmm. buddy. And this is what you mm-hmm. have to aspire to become, to make, you know, dude. 46, 46 issues. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. So these, this, this is a legit freaking... Uh, yeah. No, there was, there was voice actors. Voice actor. Yeah, there was some what? dude from Kingdom Hearts. And okay, I don't know who he was. I saw the character. I'm like, I don't know who that is. And then there was this, this older lady. Uh-huh. Well, she's like a fucking uh, like a life insurance adjuster now. Okay, but she was the voice. What was Goslin's best friend's name? Uh, uh, fucking uh, Hunter, whatever the du- little ducky yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not Hunter. Um, Hooter. Hooter. Gunther. Gun- no, Gunther. It's okay. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, she was the voice of that guy. Over. Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Goslin. <laughs> and, and that she, one? And she was telling us. Yeah. I was like, oh, good. And she started doing the voice. Oh. Like, she was the voice of Ralph the dog in Muppet Babies. In Muppet Babies? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and then the other thing. Oh, she was the voice <laughs> of the little emperor, the little uh, king in uh, Temple of Doom. The hell? Because really, that kid didn't speak English. Oh, so she does. Oh, he nandi, nandi, nandi. Oh boy, oh, interesting. Yeah, did you yeah. get her signature? No. What no, the hell no. are you doing at convention? Not getting people's I, I, signatures. I was walking around, man. Man, so this is legit. Was Jesus there? Uh, might have been. <laughs> it was a big convention. It was a big convention. Really, was it? It was decent size. Really? Yeah, it was pretty big. It, was it like, wasn't in a church basement, like you said. No, it was in a church. Like inside, a legit church. Inside the church yeah, church. Yeah. Inside where the pews were at mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, there was no pews. They cleared them out. Oh, they cleared the pews mm-hmm. and stuff. So they went pew, 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 yeah. pew. Yeah. Huh. Jesus was there? Possibly. I mean, he was, he's in all churches, aren't he? Isn't he? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to tell me that he was there hanging out with Mike Kunkel. Uh, he might have been. We're literally right behind <laughs> Ah, see what you did there? Hanging out, <laughs> and then uh, what was the other thing? There was a lot of cosplayers, which is weird. Okay, for a, a church thing, but there was like weird cosplayers. Right? So there was your typical like you know, Spider Man. Okay. A lot of kids were like Miles. Okay. Um, but then there was a weird one. Yeah. There was a guy dressed like the Monopoly guy. Nice. Monocle or no monocle? He had a, a big foam head. Uh huh. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> and then there was this woman that was there, and me and Miguel keep arguing. Uh huh. She was just like Annie. Okay. Like, like the fucking cartoon character, like the mm-hmm. character character, right? With the big white eyes. Yeah. Uh-huh. He said she was from one of the from the uh, Night of the Living Dead movies. <laughs> what the hell? I said no, it's Annie. He goes no, no, no. Right? <laughs> what the? Was there? Any, I don't remember anyone yeah. dressed with that dress. And yeah. Polka dot dress. Yeah, she had the dress on. Huh. Yeah. Any more evidence? I know I saw a couple pictures of like uh, anime characters. Yeah, and, uh, anime characters. Yeah. yeah, but I got excited because it was some One Piece guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was pretty good. He did a yeah. good job. Yeah. He was just an old man with a white suit. suit yeah, on. yeah, yeah. A lot of, co- lot of cosplay. A lot of. Uh, so I mean, where does sci-fi fit into God Jesus' plan? Well, that's what Miguel was saying. He was worried that like yeah. you know, he goes, he's like, oh shit, because like, you know, there's some people that believe that aliens are like demons and shit. And like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just that. Too. Well, you're sitting next to Javier, El Muerto, yeah. you know, dead one who came <laughs> back from life. He's not Jesus now, is he? <laughs> that's like religious. The man literally has a book called Maniac Priest. Right? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, but he also has a religious book. You know, he yeah, got the, that, that was it. The uh, which one? Uh, what's it called? It was like Devil Dinosaur. No, <laughs> no, there's one. It's like like it's like something in the Wandering Jew. And um, Satania or something like that. The Wind in the Willows? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, the Diabolia? Or yeah. Diab- yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot yeah. about that one. So he's got interesting stuff. Yeah. Do people buy this shit? Dude, there's people... Like, Javier's a rock star at that show. Oh, man. really? There was this woman that went up to him, and uh-huh. she was, like, real, like, nervous talking to him. Oh. And I'm sitting there listening, like, what is going on? And then she's all... She starts saying, she goes, yeah, like... Uh, you came... I remember the first show you came to here. Uh-huh. Like, I was... 12 years old or like you're like oh no <laughs> someone called pizza game <laughs> and i was like what is going oh, on no. and he's like oh and he you can tell he didn't remember <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah but he was like oh yeah yeah like you know blah, 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 yeah like, be a nice guy yeah. and shit yeah, yeah. i'll be like fuck have i remembered you but damn you stack now girl what's up <laughs> you can't say something like that no you can't oh damn but she's in a church <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying no, no, no. Damn, y'all virgin dove, huh? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, I know the people coming up to it, and they're just like, like, oh yeah, like yo, I haven't seen you since last year. What do you have new? And, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So it's this is, is kind of like his yearly, yearly pilgrimage, yearly. Yeah, uh, yeah. good uh, show. I, I signed up to do it next year. Really? Yeah, Look at you. I guess I gotta work another fucking Saturday. <laughs> So there he is. You guys posted shit. I'm like, here, fucking. What else can I clean? You were celebrating Batman Day. I guess. Yeah. All, I, all I did was put Batman on yeah. and, you know, like, uh, clean everything. There you go. You know, I got, like, customers come in, like, why are you sweaty? I'm like, I'm cleaning shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah, it was all right. I was like, you know. Yeah, church. When he first told me, Jesus. I was like, I'm like, I don't know about that. And, he, and Harvey was like, no, it's, it's, a, it's a big family show. You got to do it. And yeah. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's try it out. Yeah. Was good big, it's yeah. It's not a family, it's not a family, so it's so decent, you know. Yeah, um, pay for the gas, yeah, yeah, yeah more cool. or less, more or less. That's all that matters. Eight rallies, oh, cool, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Four rallies, you got you know, so it's four, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you know, good show. All right, what's the next one? Uh, next year, <laughs> <laughs> nothing this year. Are we done? I think that's it, man. I think I'm mm, done. The, like, the I know, uh, the I, I, I got, I got. Told that if I wanted to, we could do LA. Mm. Mm. I don't want to. I think in the middle of December. It's a big one though. In downtown LA. It's a biggie. And you don't, you don't think you have enough stuff for it? I mean, I think we do. I just yeah. think it's just the that, shirts will have to be out yeah. by then, you know? You have yeah. shirts by yeah, then. Yeah. Which is the middle of December. I just, that sounds terrible. Yeah, but people are going to be buying it because of the holiday. Are, you don't think so? Don't think will, yeah, you want a Christmas present? No, Here's a cool comic I, think, book. I, think, I think LA Comic Con is like, like, oh, I'm going to get my mm. chromium fucking, uh, you know. Whatever, really? LA Comic Con exclusive. Oh, uh, you know, thirty dollars. They could sell it on eBay for sixty dollars. Uh, you know? Yeah, is that how it goes now? Yeah, but what if I grade it? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking a. I can, yeah. yeah, I don't get it. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I think it might be done unless something else comes up like a little something smaller. smaller. Yeah. I might I might be down, but I don't know. Get brave. Do Ellie. No, get I'm brave. Not, I'm not brave enough. Too I'm, brave. I'm tired. Get brave. That's the middle of fucking like flu season too. You know, you know what? Like, you, know. you know what? Talk to the crew. See what they say. No, because they're gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know they will say yes. I know. That's what threw it. They're very nonchalant. Yeah, you just no, talk to them. Don't say yes. I don't, don't, no, I don't want to do see, it. See what they say. They're, they're hardcore, man. They might say no. I don't know. I mean, they might be intimidated too. Maybe. You know, they might be little bitches. Damn. <laughs> I don't tell you what that Latino Expo, but his mom showed up and she told me, she's like, you need to take really to more shows. And oh, there like, you go. I'm like, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm, and she goes, she mentioned something about Modesto. And I'm like, that's too far. I don't want to do that. And she's like, she's like, I have family that lives out there. You guys could stay with them. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, Modesto is make or break. That's too far, man. Modesto is make or That's break, though. Far. If you can make it in Modesto, you can not make it really. anywhere. That's not true. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to go to Modesto. I don't want to go to Modesto. God damn it. But you're going you're to end up in fucking uh, Phoenix and shit oh, instead yeah, of Tucson. Going to Tucson instead of fucking Modesto. Well, because I know more people in Tucson. Well, you know, until you get yeah, Valeria's family in Phoenix. <laughs> in, in Modesto. In Modesto. <laughs> you know? That's true. You know you get fed. Oh yeah, you know you'll get fat at least that's when, true, it, when it comes to families. Families usually eat mm-hmm, mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. Tucson. You don't know people. I know people. You have one in and out in the whole town. I have one in and out, and they they sell a lot of food. Yeah, and you got to come like three hours later yeah. to get your food back. Can't do it, man. See, but they have the best tacos in. No, they don't. Supposedly, no, they don't. <laughs> it's not LA. You know what they did have though, huh. which was like weird because it was like it was like a legit like taco like truck, not a truck like uh-huh. a stand, right? Uh-huh. They had these quesadillas, mm-hmm. and they were like super oily. I'm like, oh, oh. Man, like this is gonna be good, right? Uh-huh. But here's the thing that, that, that tripped me out: they put mushrooms in it. Ooh, boy! Yeah. It was really good. The slimy mushrooms, or the the yeah, the, yeah. Ooh, it's gotta be slimy. And I was like, I look at them, that looks wrong, but it's probably delicious. Mm-hmm. It was delicious. <laughs> Okay, if it's the ones from the weird little mm-hmm. canned things, yeah. whatever, that's it. It's fine. But then, but then the thing was, like, like it was of. so oily, though. Like, it's like, just sitting in your gut. Like, it was like, ugh. <laughs> but it was good. Ugh. I'm getting heart attack. This place, this place was, like, the most Mexican place in Tucson. Because during the day, uh-huh. it's like a piñata store. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And at night, it's a taco place. I mean, that's fine. That's weird, right? No. <laughs> that's, that's anywhere near where I work in downtown L.A., dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Daytime candy plays. Nighttime taco spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. They have mulitas. They have oh. barbacoa. They got mm-hmm. here. You know, those right there. Right by the candy district. They got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, see? Yeah. It's nothing new. That's kind of weird. No, it's but not. Like, you know what? The other thing I always remember for some reason. Yeah. I don't see it out here. What? Everywhere we stopped, mm. like at like markets or 7 Eleven or whatever, they had bottled horchata. Bottled horchata? And it was like some brand too. Like it had like, a, it was like, like a label and everything. Jarritos? No, it wasn't Jarritos. I don't know what it was. And it was in a plastic bottle. I mean, you you can get a, a bottle of horchata here. Mm-hmm. Like it'll be like, a, like, but it comes in those milk containers. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, weird. Milk no, it was containers. like, like, you know, when you get the plastic, like orange juice? Yeah. It was like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I've seen those. I've seen yeah. the, that, that's the only kind I've seen mm-hmm. here. But they're rare. But I saw that everywhere. Everywhere. And I was like, it was so weird. Huh. Yeah. They don't know how to make their own rice horchata over no. there. Oh, wow, canela. And, no. um, well, I don't either. Yeah. Huh. All right. Interesting. But that's my favorite part when I was out there was people would be like, oh. You have a favorite part in Tucson? No, no, no. My favorite, my favorite part of that whole experience oh, was that okay. they would be like, like, oh, we have... These taco trucks. I'm like, dude, don't really sell it. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's not a big deal. Yeah, like, it's not a big deal. To, but you know what? To them, it's amazing. Yeah. You know? Or well, they would be like, like, oh, we went to, we went to this one restaurant yeah. for breakfast. And it was like they had hot chocolate. But it was uh, abuelita, abuelita chocolate. Yeah, it's And they would brag about that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, you got that shit in the cupboard at home. What yeah, are you talking right? about? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just weird because you know those things that you're just used to. And you're like, like, oh, this is a big deal to you. Yeah. Interesting. Because to them, it's like. What they got? Ovaltine? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Fucking uh, quick. Yeah. You know? Which is funny, too, because I think, I think when we were driving to my friend's house, yeah. I saw a Waffle House. I was like, Ooh. oh, dude, Waffle House. Like, you know, I and they're like, whoa. And they're like, yeah, it's whatever. It's not that good. I, I, don't, I don't look like a yeah. fight today. Yeah. And I was like, really? And we went. I was like, it was good. But yeah, yeah. I was like, whatever. But in and out's fantastic. I love it. Well, Over there. Over there. Because yeah. one. Oh. I didn't think that makes it more savory. Probably. It's fresher too because they run out of food all the time. <laughs> That's just weird to me, all that shit. Yeah. So you'd rather go to Tucson, huh? Than yeah. Modesto. Modesto is like six hours drive. Tucson's like eleven hour drive. No, it's a forty five minute flight. <laughs> In that case it's like a fifteen minute flight to fucking Modesto. You can't fly to Modesto. You have to fly to fucking Santa Monica. Santa no, Mar- you uh, have to fly and then parachute down. Yeah, for- <laughs> You have to fly to fucking uh, Sacramento yeah. and then drive back or drive down like, for like three hours. Yeah, and shit. like that's not that's dumb. They just drive up there. I don't like driving that long. Well, don't I, drive. I keep saying over here, what you gotta do is you guys gotta get a fucking party van. The, the freaking party van? Because everyone from out down here is going up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like. And then all we need is one person to take uh, care of the bus. The chip whole time. in. You yeah. mean everyone chips in? Like, just, yeah. you know. Yeah, everyone pitches in. No, everyone pitches in, but then someone's gotta take care of the bus because someone always fucks up that bus. Yeah. <sighs> you know, all these Latino creators, like comic creators. In, that, in the one bus? In one bus. Oh, dude, not just that. You could be like, oh, I'm, I'm driving so you guys could drink <laughs> on the way up there. You leave a day or two before the mm-hmm. actual thing mm-hmm. starts and they could get all wasted. In. That way they have one day to recover, like mm-hmm. it's on a Friday. So oh, like, that's, a bad, that's a bad part of that show. It's, a, it's a Friday, Saturday show. Wow. Yeah, well, we, we leave on Wednesday. No. <laughs> We're going to stay with Valencia's relatives? Yeah, Wednesday, we leave Wednesday, hang out with Thursday, and then start the party on Friday. Mm-hmm. Oh, we start the party, well, obviously, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. And then into Thursday, we need to recoup, we can recoup cool. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And then start again on Friday. No, oh, that's when the show starts. Yeah, well, that's when we party. You don't want to party during the show? Yeah, during the Modesto gone? Hell no. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. It's all about. No, you got to be so uh, sober minded uh, during the show. Nah. You got to give them the pitch. You got to give them the, like. Yeah, uh, yeah, then, uh, you know. You'd be like, you uh, <laughs> you play my book? You like comics? Yeah, yeah. comics. <laughs> I like comics. <laughs> you like Pat Blue Ribbon? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I gotta, yeah. I gotta find more shows apparently to take uh, related to. Start doing like the local like swap meets and then go the to the queer, do the queer mercado. She'll love that. She would love that. Yeah. I don't know how to get in, involved in that though. I don't just know how to get contact them. They're constantly posting shit. But then be like, what? We have a comic about it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a vendor. Yeah, be a, just be a vendor. They don't. I don't even think they ask questions like, like that. They might ask. Questions, like, yeah. They might ask you if you're gay. That's about yeah. it. Which oh, no, uh, which uh, letter do you represent? <laughs> just be like the plus. The plus. Yeah. The no, uh, the, the the library show we did. Uh-huh. We were right next to this place called Prism Comics. Uh-huh. And they're like LGBT, uh, and then they run a, uh, in a church. No, 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 no. Oh no, they were no, they were at uh, they were at uh, Latino. Latino. No, but are they, they were, meant at the church? No, 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 they went there. But they like, were uh, 
they uh, they talked about they have a show. Mm. I think it's called like PrismCon or Pr- some of that, right? Mm. And my lady was like, "Let's go next year," and I'm like, "Look into it. I'll look into it." Like I don't know, I don't yeah. you know. And she's like, "No, we gotta go." And she's all hyped up. She goes, "We have to wear matching outfits." I'm like, "Matching? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa!" <laughs> like, <laughs> all I heard was something about bow ties and suspenders, and I'm like, "I don't know about this." <laughs> And checkered pants. <laughs> Little fedora hats. <laughs> I mean, I've gone down. I'm not down. <laughs> so the specials, you'll be like, eh, you're there, all right. Yeah, it's fine. They're cool. It's fine. It's cool. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. But yeah, so we got to make no a good like a prison com. I don't know. We'll good see. like a prison com. We'll see, man. But what if you end up with the wrong one? You go to prison con. Oh no! Uh, yeah, like, we got comics, guys, <laughs> and we're there in fucking matching outfits. In matching outfits. <laughs> oh, one of you's coming home with a sore butt. Oh well, no, why? Because <laughs> it's prison con yeah. or life. Life. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. More shows. Yeah, more shows. More Keep more going. Shows. Keep it up. Keep it up. At this point, when this podcast comes out, we'll find out if you actually made the goal know, for the Kickstarter. It's, it's You're halfway there. Halfway there. And you got like a, two days to go. <laughs> no, like a little over a week. A little yeah, over a week. week. Oh. <sighs> but you know what? I, I've been talking to people. and yeah. like, It's just a thing around, all around. Yeah. Like, uh, um, the last minutes people's? No, just in general. Like People are just not coming out for it. Like, you know, like. So, k- kickstarting is dead? No, it's not dead. I think it's the economy is shitty the right now. And crowdfunding is dead. Are we in another recession? I don't know how that works. I don't know. Is, is that, I keep people telling me that gas went up like 60 cents today. Out of nowhere, yeah. I don't fucking know where. Some Saudi prince needs to buy a new fucking Maserati mm-hmm. that's gold or whatever the fuck now. Oh, yeah, we got to do another invasion soon. <laughs> like, Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get the Republicans back in office. <laughs> let's go get some oil. Let's go get some oil, guys. Let's go find let's go let's clone some dinosaurs mm-hmm. and then like torch them so they can make some more out of their blood or bones mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Someone get SEAL Team Six to fucking <laughs> go find a new bin Laden. Yeah. We need some we need some oil. We need some oil stat. <laughs> or make, just release the Tesla's water car. <laughs> That's the sound it makes. Yeah, yeah. Imagine. Did you hear about that? The the um so there's an old Tesla uh Patton. Uh-huh. Or like the uh, water car. No, well, to pull electricity out of the air, mm. and everyone's like, "That's bullshit. That can't work." No, right? and so then it works uh, all the time. this uh, this group of scientists were trying to figure out a way to measure humidity, uh-huh. and uh, they built this thing, and they didn't plug it in, and it turned on because they were sucking out energy from the humidity. So they accidentally made it work. Uh huh. And I'm just like, oh, they're gonna die, right? They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna get rid of them, nope. right? Like, yeah. Oh, the, oh, yeah. The 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 world of uh, Edison is gonna come yeah. down with yeah. the fucking Thor's hammer and yeah. fucking destroy them. Yeah. Soon. Pretty yeah. soon. Pretty it's soon. Gonna happen pretty yeah. Soon. Pretty soon. Because it's like, it's. And I was just reading about this. I'm like, what the fuck? And, yeah. then, and then they're saying, like, oh, once they figure out how it worked, they made it work a little better. And, mm. then, and then they're saying like, like, oh, they could probably like set up these things in like charge Florida phone. and charge fucking like you know. Florida would be perfect. A lot of humidity. That's yeah. what Tesla would go to these places that yeah. had this kind of weather. Like Louisiana. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's these are the places yeah. he would go to because he knew the atmosphere was charged with electricity mm. and ions. I mm-hmm. like that to say, and that's what makes electricity or the spark come yeah. through. Yeah. I don't know. Three nine six for life. They should just do it. They should yeah. Just, yeah, just fucking do it. Yeah. That's how you fuck with the oil industry. Like you just make a car that runs on humidity. <laughs> like <laughs> that's why this whole like oh, right now there's a lot of pushback on getting these cars, electrical yeah. cars, because oh you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna yeah. mess up our grid. You're gonna yeah. you know there's too much yeah. electricity. I'm like dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Instead of saying you're you know how you're gonna fuck this shit up. Yeah. Figure out how we're gonna fix it then. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. we got solar, we got wind, we got earth, <laughs> we got. Fu- Fire my powers combined. <laughs> I am Captain Planet, dude. Okay, but can you can you power a car with love <laughs> or heart? Or <laughs> if you're a hooker, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> ah, horrible. Jokes. I mean, yeah. just saying. You ask me a question, yeah, I give you an answer. No, but that was the whole thing that low yeah. right? Like we can't release really a Tesla car because yeah. the oil industry is too big, and it would destroy the economy. It would destroy the economy. Allegedly. Allegedly. Not just the economy, the atmosphere, yeah. the freaking the crops. Would it though? Yeah. I mean, it more more water. Seattle would. I mean, the rest of the United States would look like Seattle. That's fine. 
But no more crops. No more tomatoes. Oh, you don't like tomatoes. We can grow that shit in labs now and shit. So the like, green gardens and all that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But the, we don't have a garden the size of farms. Mm, how do we figure it out? Well, no, yeah. Like I said, like I said instead yeah. of fucking bitching about it, we yeah. can always figure yeah, it out. No, yeah, yeah. But yeah. for a fucking car? But it would save the environment. It wouldn't say, would it not <laughs> save you? I'm just telling you, it won't save the environment. And you're, you're telling me it will, but it won't save the environment. To the contrary, it'll make it worse. Would it? Yes. I, it I just told you it would. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. I give you science evidence. Let's find evidence. out. Evidence. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it out. No, no. <laughs> because it will fuck ourselves over. Yeah, and then we're done. You know what? Let's keep it with the emissions. You know what? Burning <laughs> dinosaur poo poo, yeah. whatever the fuck it is, yeah. you know, it's cool. Yeah. I'm done with it. Cool? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we went past the global warming. Do we go a little boiling, boiling now? No, we're not. Yeah. No, that's not even a thing. That's a thing. That's they, not even a thing. The scientists, they said, like, we passed It's it. like 72 degrees outside right now. Yeah, it's fucking September. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, September. It's like late se- September. September is meant to be hot. September is meant to be oh, hot. Man. People, All right, people I'll ask you again uh, when, when it's like 80 in, in, in December. On Christmas. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's California. It's always 80 it's in Christmas. It's always 80s no. in the Christmas. No. Holidays in California are <laughs> always... That's what I understand. People are like, oh, it's so hot. It's, hot. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. No, it's, it's not. We had a fucking hurricane a couple weeks uh-huh. ago. Like, That's fine. Everyone's so We well. don't have hurricanes Remember in El Nino? Yeah, we do. Remember El Nino when we were in high school? Junior high, junior high school. That shit was a fucking hurricane. That wasn't a hurricane. <laughs> that was a hurricane. It passed right through us. Yeah. That was devastating. That was a season. That was a whole like <laughs> fucking like weather. No, it pattern. was part of it. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, part yeah. of it. But we got constant bombardments yeah. from these things. Yeah. You know, they're hurricanes. They were you know? hurricanes. They were, they're, they're tropical thunderstorms. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. which are worse than hurricanes. <laughs> they got lightning behind us. What does that have hurricane? We have earthquakes. We doesn't have hurricanes. <laughs> we can have whatever we want. <laughs> we're California. Yeah, sure. Fuck, dude. Yeah. People that complain about eighty degrees on Christmas are fucking. To me, they're the worst people in the world. <laughs> Because you're in California. It's not supposed to be that hot, though. Shut the fuck up. Like, you're talking about, like, Shut the fuck up. You're talking about, like, Phoenix. Or you're talking about, like, Texas. Okay. No, it's supposed to be 100 there. Yeah. But that's supposed to be that hot in California. That yes, no, it is. No. 80s is our fucking 70s here, dude. You don't understand. <laughs> 80s is what fucking keeps us going. No. People are like, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. You're not from California, are you? I guess. You know, people, real people from California don't fucking complain about the weather. Oh, they complain about the weather. No, they, they complain about it yeah, weather, complain ironically. About, no, no, they complain yeah. like, oh, it's raining, I can't drive. And, oh, no, that's, no. <laughs> again, not people from California. No, people from California. I don't think. You know what people from California say when it rains? It rains really bad. Oh, <laughs> we needed this. <laughs> we needed this. That's what people from California say. <laughs> we needed this. See, that's how you know you're from California. Oh, yeah, we're due. We're due. We we're due. We're due. Yeah, we're due. Yeah. You know? Don't get me wrong. People still don't know how to drive, but yeah. still. Oh, it's the that. worst. It's raining. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. I know. Horrible. Yeah. I get 15, I need to leave 15 minutes earlier to work. <laughs> or when I work, 15 yeah. minutes away. Yeah. You know? There you go. How dare they? Yeah. No. I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> you can't talk about the weather. Yeah, you can. in California. <laughs> because it's always perfect. It's not always perfect. Always perfect. No, not when it rains. Perfect. <laughs> Even when it rains. Because we needed it. Because we needed it. <laughs> You know, overcast, yeah, perfect. Cloudy, I like small. overcast. Overcast is nice. It, today was a good yeah, you know, overcast nice. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. 78 degrees, yeah, yeah. you know, not, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. Sunny, beautiful mm-hmm. sunny days, yeah, blue skies. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. You know, I, orange skies, yeah, great. Yeah. Purple skies, fantastic. Purple. You ever seen purple skies? No. Fantastic. You know, sunny. Yeah. No matter what we're talking about. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I think they've gone far enough. Okay. What else do we need? Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. This weekend, we're having the Monsters Mayhem this Friday. Friday, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. This should be out yeah. by then. If people want to come. Yeah. At the star. We have a bunch of artists. Yeah. Like, like Nathaniel. Like, and you could put them in here now. Right? Like, <laughs> Later on, I'll yeah, put them yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not putting. I don't no. know what the fuck is going in here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who's gonna be in that thing. Either you know way, you know. I just, I just fucking sit here. Like, yeah. You know, Nathaniel, fucking. You know. He told me to draw something. I think I feel. I gotta fill out a form for him. Oh. But I don't know where uh, I left the form. You have to put your like social security number. Yeah, and like, like fucking firstborn or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, up. Yeah. So I can be in the stupid art show. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. The life you live now. Yeah. Yeah. I made two pieces. Oh. I don't know which one I'm saying. I'm gonna. Oh, whoa. I can't. Combine them. How can I? I don't know. 
And to anyone listening, and to anyone still listening, thank you very much for putting up with us. This is issue 77? 78. 78 of Comic Centric. Yeah. And I thank you for joining us. The end. Good night. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night, good morning, and good afternoon. Bye. Bye. Go to sleep, people.